Let's find the difference between 10.6 and 1.75. The difference between this subtraction and a normal subtraction is that we have decimal points in both of our numbers. So we need to make sure to account for those when we subtract. Step number one will be setting up our subtraction normally, but we need to make sure to line up our decimal points when we do this. So we'll have something that looks like this. 10.6 minus 1.75. Notice that the decimal points are lined up, one right on top of the other. Step number two is going to be adding any trailing zeros that we need to put in as placeholders in order to do our subtraction. So look back at our problem. Right here, we have nothing minus five. Well, that won't work, so we need to add a trailing zero here. Remember, trailing zeros do not change the value of the number, so we can add as many as we want, but we only need this one. Step number three is just to subtract as we normally would. When we do this to our problem, we get an answer of 8, 8, and 5. Now for the decimal. To put the decimal in our answer, simply follow the line of decimals and put our decimal in our answer in the same spot. So we get an answer of 